Agni Vogaris. Are you interested in getting facts or all pieces of information as per Agni Vogaris? If that is your goal, you are in the right place. Without further ado, let's go. Hi. I want to make this presentation on Agni Vulgaris. This is a problem affecting teenagers as soon as they reach puberty. Acne is a problem commonly found in teenagers and is associated with poverty. It improves with age because the situation is going to improve after year 18. May however remain after the year of 20 and in some people till the age of 30 and beyond. If you have permanent scaring, don't become depressed because there is possibility of anxiety, depression, and suicidal ideation. It is possible that acne could be inflammatory and might be non-inflammatory. Epidemiologically, it is worldwide and is found in all ethnic groups. However, there is more in Western world. Teenagers more affected. It could be found in some adults also, but a small proportion of adults will be affected. If both blacks and whites are affected the same way, it is more severe in whites than black. The culprits here are androgens because androgens leads to increased oil sebum production by epi androstenin their own and that hydrotestosterone have been identified here. Keratinization will lead to forming of comedro and the bacteria will invade the vollicles. That will lead to inflammation and oxidation. Microcomedones are formed because their skin cells are trapped by the oily sebum. The location of the microcomedo determines whether it is white or black. If it is not exposed to the atmosphere, it will be called white head because there will be no oxidation occurring there. On the contrary, if it is superficially located, and oxidation of cause at the periphery there, then it will become black and be called black head acne or comedy. Acne and teenage years, yes. Why at teenage years? The androgens that hydroepi understand in their own are produced in teenagers during adrenal. That is the stage where they develop pubic and axillary air. At that time, they also develop body odor and acne will set it. So it could be in form of purples, postures, or nodules. It will be noticed when it is deep down, and that could be very serious.
What are the possible triggers of acne in teenagers? Medications. Somebody is on lithium iodide for whatever reason. Fentanyl bromides for abortion. Steroids. Androgens. Topical agents. Oily cosmetics. Tars and ointments. Mechanical pressure or occlusion, e.g. tight cap, tight hat, tight face mask, or tight scarf around the surface causing acne in teenagers. Emotional stress. Some should watch it. When do they get it worst? Yeah, when they are stressed out. Traveling, preparing for exam, under one pressure or the other, sleepless nights, then the acne will come out you know, more pronounced than when they are resting anymore. more. Don't worry about some stuff that you've had before that chocolate, greasy foods, and so on and so forth. No. Chocolate will not worsen acne for you. Greasy foods will not. Blackheads are not because you're dirty, but because it's oxidized. The more you wash your face, the more likelihood of acne. It is not because of poor hygiene. It's actually the other way around. Acne types could be comedona, and that could be sparse and no scaring. Could be comedona that would be popular, moderate, and little scaring. Could be comedona that would be popular. Postular and scary. And it could be nodulocystic acne, and the risk of scaring is very severe here. Appears at the upper chest and the back. Differential diagnosis of acne could be. Keratosis pilaris, Rosazi, Periora dermatitis, and folliculitis. How do we make diagnosis of acne for girls? Mainly clinical appearance with history is enough. So we take history and we do physical examination and that's it. It's located on the face, the chest and the back. And we are likely going to assess the level of severity. If it is white hair, like I have said just a while ago, it will be a kind of dead skin cells inside and inflammation is at the periphery. The black head, on the other hand, the dead skin is at the superficial level and oxidation is taking place there. That's why it is black. It could be uh, with postal, in which case there will be pus inside, and cystic, in which case like a sac deep down, and that could be painful. Could be popular if there's hair follicle that have been destroyed and could be a form of nodules. Um, it could be mild when the claw skin follicles and comedos are limited to the face. It could be moderate when we have purples and postures in large number on the face and trunk or the back. It will be severe when there's extensive painful bumps called nodules on the face and the back and everywhere.
the risk factors here are hereditary in about 82% of affected people. Severe ones are associated with chromosome X, YY syndrome. Androgens during puberty facilitates their growth and highly sebum production. That is why we ask it for the hard P androgens turning down and the hard testosterone growth hormone, insulin like growth factor 1, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and congenital adrenal apoplasia. In all these situations, you are likely going to find acne. Testosterone replacement therapy will worsen acne, and anybody that is having a likelihood of having it will quickly come down with it if they are on that. Anabolic steroid, and of course, in the past, it used to be propionic bacterium acne. Now, the name of the bacteria has changed to cutibacterium acne. If they are present, then the acne will service in the individual. Diet. Low glycemic diet is helpful. Researches all over America, Australia, and some other parts of the world reveal that those on low glycemic diet will not cure the acne, but the rate at which it's going to be troublesome will reduce. Will reduce. And of course, I've mentioned stress. Uh, if you pass through emotional stress, your acne will service the more and probably appear more troublesome. Environment with mechanical obstruction, like I said earlier, and medications like lithium, testosterone, high NH, steroids, and antoin and aldides would all trigger acne. In conclusion, we will be talking about treatment as the next thing that should be of interest to you. If you want to know more about accurate, correct treatment of acne, please kindly click on this value. That I've come to the end of this presentation. Please click on this link. This will take you to the full treatment of acne. In fact, the correct treatment. What can we give you? And why are we giving you that medication or pieces of advice? Or will be explained right here. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it.